Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix Saints Row 2 PC port on PC, of course. And uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, but it's not free if you do not have the right version. So let's get into it. So first you are going to need a GOG. GOG launcher. Uh, you will need Saints Row 2 as well on GOG. Um, when I bought this it was like $4. Uh, it's gone up in price. There might be a way to get it cheaper somewhere out there. That is up to you to find. Um, but yes, you will need the GOG version. The GOG version with the GOG launcher. As you can see, I have the Saints Row 2 on GOG. And it works amazingly. But that is all you need more. So, once you have downloaded Saints Row 2. Fresh install of Saints Row 2 on GOG. You will need a mod that fixes a lot of things. And that is... Saints Reduced. Uh, Saints Reduced is a mod that fixes a lot of crashes, a lot of bugs, a lot of good things. So you'll be able to play the game again. And um, the time I've been playing it on my YouTube, I've done a playthrough. Uh, I think I've crashed like twice, but you can keep going past that crash part. So you can continue playing as long as I've played for. I'm like four or three hours in. Okay, so you want to open up the juice patch in Google or Mega. I'm gonna go with Google because I always go with Google. Google, 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 Google. I'm gonna go with the latest version, and you want to download it. So once you download it, make sure you have Extractor like Seven Zip or Winra, and you extract that baby wherever you want to extract it. Saints Row Two Juiced. And you will see these, these files here. You're like, what the hell do I do with these? Well, you go into your GOG, GOG launcher. You want to right click, manage installation, and show folder. Pretty much you have to find your directory of uh, where your Saints Row is. So once you have that opened, you want to find this thing called here, DF Engine DLL. And you want to rename that into where is the other one Let me find it real quick you want to rename it to pass underscore df engine dll so yes i have two of them but you have to do this so copy and paste this this will be in the description and just rename it pass underscore so you want to rename this one here to pass with a pass underscore in front of it really. So once you've done that, you are ready to get these files over here and drag and drop them into your game directory. So boop, boop, and you're pretty much done. That's that's how you fix Saints Row 2 on PC. Uh, there is a few more things like Gentleman of the Row, gives you a few more options, whatnot, all that. But that's that's like extra stuff. If you want a video for Gentlemen of the Row as well, uh, I'll do that. Oh, by the way, if you want to change a few things, where is it? The reload INI that you dragged from um, the Juiced, you can change a lot of settings in here. Change like the FPS, um, you can ch change the graphics, a lot of things. So if you want to change anything, just change it in here, change it to 1, 2, you know. But you can copy my settings if you want. These settings all work amazing for me. I've had no problems at all. But yeah, it works for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Appreciate anyone. And I hope you all have fun on Sensor 2. If there's any issues, please let me know. And I, I hope you all have a wonderful day.